I see truck. I see truck. I see the icy truck. I see truck. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was lovely. So long, Tooth. Until we meet again. <laughs> that was a bummer, man. But I gotta tell you, everything that just took place in that uh, dentist chair was nothing compared to the misery I've been in the past couple of days. So uh, I'm glad to to have this tooth gone. This squirrel. Yeah, I'm talking to you. They don't just sit there. We have a squirrel attacking our house. You see it? I don't think you care. I thought you were a guard dog. Get that squirrel. Rawr, 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 rawr. I'm so disappointed in you. Okay, so I want to talk to you for a minute about the United States presidential election. N no, I don't. Okay, so... Okay, so it's fall. And that is... That's an amazing thing in Colorado. Fall is a time of... Fall is a beautiful season. But fall is also a time of uh, renewal. Uh, it's when things kind of, <laughs> the leaves are going, I mean, the trees aren't dying, but it, it's not real death. It's just sort of a hibernation of sort, and then there's winter, and then there's renewal. Um, we're in a bit of a season like that with our church planting. Uh, you may have seen uh, Compass Church is in base camp, it's actually kind of exciting. We're, we are uh, we're pulling back a little bit and uh, and doing some regrouping, and some replanning, and uh, getting ready to to come back full force here soon. When I think about church planting, I think about risk. I think about what people say all the time. You've probably heard the expression, uh, "What would you attempt if you knew you would not fail?" But honestly. Probably a, a, a more powerful question to ask sometimes is what would you be willing to attempt if you knew you might fail? And then what would you do if you failed? Would you continue on? Would you keep going? Uh, I think about uh, a time I was playing this video game back in the 90s called Banjo-Kazooie. And I was in one of the upper levels. You're climbing around a tree and you had to jump from ledge to ledge. And I remembered I kept missing the ledge and falling. And uh, I would get frustrated and I'd get back up and I'd go back and I would do it again. And I would fall again and I would get up and I'd do it again and I'd do it again. You know, one of my kids, they were very little at the time, and they, they said, Dad, why, are you, why don't you just quit? Why do you keep doing that? And something inside me, I, I wasn't sure how to answer. I was like, 
no, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep going until I get it right. I'm going to keep trying and keep trying. And indeed, after many more failures and falling, I finally got it right. <laughs> and I was trying to teach some kind of lesson there. I don't know. There's definitely a time to stop doing something and to move on to the next thing. Uh, but there's also a time to kind of dig in, keep trying, even though you keep failing. So what is it? What is that, what is that thing that, that, uh, that you're doing? And maybe you're not being that successful with it just now, but you know, you know you're doing the right thing. You're pointing the right direction. Your life is in the right direction. Maybe it's not time to stop. Instead, it's time to dig in. Get a good foothold. Put your trust in God and keep going. Oh, that takes me back again. Back to where I thought I could love again. I never thought that I could be so perfect.